Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at an update to the screen space global illumination for Blender EV. So this is made available by the folks at 0451. And the first time that this was released, we looked at it. We talked about the fact that this is going to be a game changer and all of the beautiful things that you can do right now that you have the screen space global illumination right there in Blender for EV. So for those who want to follow up with this or for those who have been following up with this, you would know that there is an update that have been going on right here. And the time which you talked about this, the SSGI 0.1.0 was just announced. And it's very interesting to see that there've been a couple of updates going on all the way to 0.1.4. But all of that is changing because right now this is not like an add-on add-on, but it's now built into Blender's EV as a brand new build, which you can actually download and start working with. For those who like to play with this, you want to test it with the CUDA, you want to test it with optics. Right now you have a full advantage of taking this as a full app, playing with it, with it fully integrated directly into EV. Now this is also available for both Windows and also for Linux. So for those who like to take a look at the link to this is going to be in the description where you can and check this out so with this said we're going to dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works so with the downloaded version of the screen space global illumination build open right here you would notice that nothing really looks different so it looks very similar to what you have in you know native blender and contrary to other add-ons once you press n on the keyboard you also notice that we just have our previous add-ons here you know nothing is different so how does this one work now so if we go in and throw in a simple plane and we choose to bring susan the monkey right there and subdivide her about a point like that and set that to smooth shade and take her all the way up right now if we switch over to eevee by default this is what you get so the beautiful thing is normally you get to move over to cycles so that you can get a much more cleaner render owing to the fact that you have your global illumination and all that stuff and actually global illumination is a more advanced way or you know more advanced form of ray tracing that simply adds to the local model by reflecting light from surrounding surfaces like a surface like this and affecting the object and basically a global illumination model like this one actually is more comprehensive more physically correct and produces a bit more realistic image compared to what you have with eevee like this you know cycles just simply looks great now all of that is changing and all of that has actually changed over some time because now if you go over to eevee and scroll all the way down to where you have the screen space ray tracing and turn this on you're definitely going to be having some sort of feedback that looks closely to what you have with cycles and this is all you need right now with this current build this is all you need and for those who be wondering what about the noise you know we have a couple of noise yep we have that noise because of the sampling that we have here and this is going to clear out depending on the viewport sampling that you have and you know because this is going to be using the noising to do that it's going to clear out now if you want to have quick feedback you can actually set this to 1024 which is actually times in the whole thing by far and you would notice that you're having a much more cleaner stuff. Look at what you have before and look at what you have now. This is game changing. And if you actually switch over to Cycles, you would notice that it looks even a little bit more better than what you have in Cycles, you know, to a point. So if we switch back, now you can see what we have. And if we switch back right here, you can also see what we have. So pretty cool stuff going on right here. Meanwhile, if you go down here where you get to see all of these goodies, all right? So if we go down right here, we can turn on the refraction if we would like to get some refraction. For those who like to play with the edge fading, you can choose to play with the edge fading. All right, so you can crank that up and you can also bring that down. Now, if you would like to play with diffuse intensity, this is actually, you know, where the bread and butter of these things happen. You can actually go in and do that. So you can turn this down and you can crank this one up. So contrary to what we had before, where you have to go in and you have to go and bake all those things by yourself, right now you have all of these things baked directly into Eevee and you can actually do a lot more with it. Now, speaking of which, if we also go in and throw ourselves a simple UV sphere, so let's just grab this one and subdivide this as well, make that a smooth object, move that right there. Let's make a copy of this object and then we will throw in some material. So let's grab that, throw in a material right there, throw in another material, scroll all the way down, make this one metallic because we like it that way. And then we would also select this one and choose to crank the roughness. So let's also move this around and see what we're going to get. So I'm just gonna move this right here and move this one right over here. So you can tell, all right, so let me move this right over to a point like so, all right. Other things which I like to do is throw this in and let's change the color. 
Okay, so you can actually start noticing that we are having this very lovely stuff. I can make a copy of this. Let's do that. So let's hit Control, let's hit Shift and D and raise this all the way up. And then with that done, I will go all the way to where we have a mission. Let's crank this emission all the way upwards and let's see. All right, this looks pretty cool. So we might also choose to delete that and make a brand new one for here. And we could also go over to where we have our emission, crank this one all the way up. But instead of having that that way, we can do this. And we can do the same thing for this and maybe change the color. So this way, you would notice that we have global illumination happening everywhere. So it's just super cool to see that we have this. So let's also turn this one down. So it's just super cool to see that we have global illumination directly here in Eevee. So all of that render time that you get to spend trying to figure out, okay, what do I have to do? How do I get to go around this? How much time do I have to spend trying to get that perfect render? Right now, you can actually start doing all of these cool things directly in Eevee. For a more elaborate example, we've actually gone ahead to download the Junkyard project file from the folks at Blender Foundation. So if you take a look at this, you can see what we have. Now, if we go ahead and turn off Eevee, this is basically what we have. You probably don't see that much uh, changes, but let's actually go into a point like this and turn this on and you would notice that there's a significant difference. So this is it on and this is it off. So with this, you can see that we have the global illumination happening right here. If we turn this off right now, you notice that we don't have that. And this simple effect spirals across. Taking a look at the game console part here. And if we turn this off, we turn this on. You can see that you could also notice that the GI is doing a very good job here and in other regions like so. So this in its sense just simply makes it wonderful. Now, instead of waiting for cycles to happen or, you know, spending so much time just trying to get the best out of what you have as a render piece, you can leverage of this beautiful tool that the folks at 0451 have made available. So very lovely thing going on. Performance looks pretty great. Of course, because, you know, we have a lot of shading going on here and we're just having a bit of a throttle. But despite that, everything looks really, really cool. So this is more like it. And for those who like to take a look at this, you know, you want to be able to try it. You want to grab it. You can simply go over to the link in the description and get this. And it's also worth saying that you can try as much as you can and also support the developers so that they could do more as this is definitely going to change how much render time that people get to spend while trying to get their content out and also how much things that they get to produce with a tool like so. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace